Hey, look, before you wax, girl, I'm down for whatever, uh. You ain't gotta say it, I know I do it better, huh? Loving you like ain't nobody out on my level up. I'ma give it to you like it's now or it's never, uh. Hey, come over, baby, let me do something. I know you need this escape, boy. I'm in love with you all day by my side. You got my heart out. Confident, vibrant, and quirky with an edge, this is 10 Minutes with Tiffany J. Minutes with Tiffany J features the inside scoop as she juggles the world around her, a nine to five, along with a handful of gifts and talents that will blow your mind. All things Tiffany J on her website at MissTiffanyJ.com. Now, let's get into the show. Here is something that I am trying to understand okay hopefully you get it <laughs> all right so there are times like today was an amazing day but there are times when I'm insecure and I'm in my head and I wonder like after an interaction I'm like oh my gosh do they know do they know and then when I sit there and think about it and ask myself all the whys do they know what, what, and some of the questions that I say, do they know that I don't know? Do they know that I'm scared? Do they know that I'm nervous? Do they know that I'm intimidated? Do they know, do they know that, oh my gosh, I didn't eat breakfast this morning, therefore I'm tired and therefore I'm not my most alert self and therefore I'm fumbling over my words and I'm nervous and blah, 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 like those type of things. Or when I'm with people that I'm, I'm older than a lot of people think that I am, right? I'll be transparent. But then there are people that are younger than me that come and they just seem like they have themselves together. They're further along. They're getting married. They're engaged. They have their house. They have their kids. And we're like the same freaking age or they're like younger than me. And I'm looking at them in the face like, oh. and I remember it was my birthday like last year or two years ago. And one of my older sores, she was like, you how old? She was like, you don't act like a year old. And I was like, what does that even mean? I don't know what that means. And then when I think about it as I am around what would seem to be my peers, I get it. I have a very youthful appearance and a very youthful spirit. And I sometimes am very childlike not childish because I can't stand immature or immature people or immaturity um, but I'm very childlike and I think like that often that's why I'm loving this whole motherhood thing because I'm just fascinated with rediscovering the world again for the second time through her eyes through my eyes and reliving like all the moments that I had before and moments that I don't even remember that I had like as a baby right but I can recall them to her and say with all these pictures now and be like oh you did this you did that oh side note I'm gonna get chat books and I'm going to document every year of her life and I'm gonna give them to her you know later in life or keep them myself but I'm gonna do that okay going back so yes there are times where I'm insecure and I don't really know or understand what to do about it or why I feel the way that I feel. I also know that in some arenas, um, not calling out certain jobs, but in the corporate realm, they can be very cutthroat. And that makes people cutthroat not only in their jobs, but in every other aspect of life. Uh, not only for jobs, but let's say depending on where you grew up, how you grew up. Um, if it was a hard knock life for you, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right. You can. Um, what was it? There was a, a reel that I saw yesterday. They were at a football game and this girl was getting all in somebody else's face. And the girl didn't the other girl didn't say nothing. She was just like, uh, whatever, whatever. And the girl, this little girl, uh, 
I would say I'm little in relation to the size of the other girl. The girl, she kept going in this, this other girl's face. And then this girl mushed her. But when she mushed her, she mushed her like about 10, 20 feet away from her. And everybody was like, oh. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, what? No, that's it's a separate issue. But sometimes life will toughen you up. And for some people, they hold it back because they're like, you know what? I'm not trying to be that person. I'm really not. But then some people are like flies, like or mosquitoes, and they just keep trying you. Now, in those instances, yes, that's when you, I'm not saying buck up, but that's when you need to stand tall, stand your ground with confidence. And I can do that, right? But then as a black female, when I'm around People that remind me, I'm not saying of my family members, but people that remind me of like old school, traditional black, like stature. When they come in, it's like, oh, they're respectable. Like you, you respect them. You make sure you take care of them. And there's some people that they're like your grandparents and they just treat you right. Then there are some people you feel like you're being judged and it could all be in my head. It could be in my head. But sometimes I feel like they are just watching you and like, mm, let me see, does she really know what she talking about? I mean, she cute, you know what I'm saying? But it could just be that she cute because she know how to be cute and put herself together. But she really know. Oh, she might. She might. She just might. But if she mess up my stuff, we gonna have a problem. Like that's that's I'm having one conversation in my head. And I that's the other conversation that I think that they have it in their head. But one of my good friends always says, what does she say? What do you say, Nairis? What do you say? What other people think is none of my business. And I have to remind myself because that could get you into a whole lot of trouble. That's how you learn to just let go of whatever happens. And sometimes you're thinking too much. Ain't nobody thinking about you like that. They not. They really not. They just want to come do what they got to do and move on. And you want to come and do your job and do what you got to do and move on. Now, one way I look at this is I try to have a servant's heart everywhere I go. I've been in some type of customer or community service type um, job position my entire life. Right. But I say to myself, when I leave, like when people come to me, I'm serving them. And it doesn't even feel like it really because it's my job. But then I remember when I leave. My job, I try to also be of service to people who are serving me, like fast food restaurants, the store, or even, you know, most recently when I was in the hospital, they're serving me, but I want to make sure that they're okay. Right. Because that's pretty much what the world is made of. But yes, it's capitalism and it's built on a whole bunch of stuff. But when you look at it at its core, okay. We are all here to serve each other. You can't also live life with a closed fist because then you can never uh, be open and available to receive anything. So why am I intimidated at times? I need to look deep within and, you know, continue asking myself why and figure out what are the holes? Where are the voids? That are causing me to maybe I'm thinking that I need to seek validation from people in a way. And if they're not giving me validation via their like the way they speak to me or maybe, you know, sometimes some people can come and they're just they don't feel like interacting. They're very tired, but they got to take care of this errand and you taking it out on yourself thinking this is you. It has nothing to do with you. It could be that maybe you maybe you tired. And you just didn't hit it off. It could be a whole bunch of things, but you can't, Tiffany, you can't always try to make it about you. Seek validation from every, excuse me, from every, every single situation because it doesn't work like that. Right. And, and I, I'm saying this to myself, but also when, so Yai becomes of age, I hope that I'm not stumped. And that I could, like the words could freely come off my mouth and I could give her the advice that she needs. When she needs it, how she needs it. And I hope that she's able to receive it in a way where she's like, yes, I can trust my mom. She knows what she's talking about. So, 
yes i too get intimidated why for certain situations still i don't know and when they happen i am going to continue to ask myself why were you intimidated let's let's break down the interaction to see at what point did you feel some kind of way next episode i'm going to talk about two scenarios that made me feel <laughs> intimidated and i'll explain uh, where the root cause of that came from That was another edition of 10 Minutes with Tiffany J. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I know I did. Now you can get more episodes on my website at www.misstiffanyj.com. But don't stop there. Hop on over to the music tab and check out your favorite Tiffany J record, starting with my latest singles, Work For It and Call Me, which is on all digital platforms. Also with a bomb video showcase on YouTube featuring the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina.